so there's a couple different schools of thought, but specifically if you're going you're a jazz person and I want to focus on that, you know, you know who Joe Alessi is? Yeah. Okay. So Joe Alessi's whole thing is like really fast arm movements, you know, like showing your whole arm. Yeah. Like but um, I think it's a little bit easier and a little more smooth and kind of how JJ did it, if you watch other things, is if you try to use only the smallest possible motion to move the slide. So like the fingers and the wrist more. The fingers arm. and wrist and less arm. So sure. yeah, trying to think about holding the shoulder as still as possible, the elbow just a little bit, and the wrist and fingers doing most of the work. And so it's kind of weird, but sometimes we get, we hold this slide and it either like this, and some people do it this way, mm. or like this. But I think actually the way that is the most effective is if you take your hand and like actually turn it. And it feels, seems weird at first. But so what happens is if you turn it this way, mm. literally turn it that like you're casting a fishing rod. Yeah. And, and so what happens is you turn it forward. So I'm using the fingers like this. Yeah. I'm turning my I'm trying to turn my wrist forward to get from here to here. So your hand's like vertical in that position. Yeah, exactly. It's ver it's vertical. It's not this, it's not this, like we're doing this kind of wrist motion. Mm. And it's not the arm. And it's just trying to turn your hand so that you can essentially not move your elbow. Yeah. And you have, you know, like a little throw and catch with the fingers. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you, so you actually let go of the slide. I do, yeah. Right. And if you watch JJ. He does. He does too. That's not that you have to do it exactly like he did it, but just as a reference. Mm. You know. There's a great video of him playing um, Like Someone in Love, that tune. If you just go on YouTube, it's there. Just yeah. search for it. And it's great because it's an old TV show and the camera angle is right coming up this way. And it's like right on the slide yeah, hand. Yeah. You're like, oh, that's what he's doing. So it's great. It's a great one to check it out. So, so your fingers are at the bottom of the slide. Yeah, and trying to use this part, the top part of your finger, rather than like the whole one. You know, right. Sure. Being at, so you can throw it, and your thumb is doing a lot of the work. You know. Mm. Yeah, like you're you're kind of holding it like this. Right. But mm. you, you're not going to change your slide technique in like a second. Yeah, yeah. But just so you understand what this would be, so you you know put use these two or three fingers, and then use the thumb to push it. Oh, so you don't let it fall and catch it with these, you actually push it with your thumb. Well, look, like if I'm doing this, like I'm pushing, my fingers aren't on here. Right. It's like this, and my thumb pushes, and these catch. Oh, sure, yeah. It's like a throw back and forth, so it's coming up, these fingers are throwing it to my thumb, and otherwise it's kind of like that, like a throw and catch kind of situation. Mm. But when you do it like this, you know, and you're turning, so the way to practice it is to use like a music stand or a door or something, something that'll stop your elbow. Right. Because like if, you you, if you get used to you know, using it, you're going to use it. So if you yeah. put it here and then just kind of go, practice going, yeah. and just like isolating that sure. motion. While you're uh, in yeah. the mirror something and you're kind of looking at this, you yeah. know, you might look at your slide arm and see is like, is this working the most efficient way? Because if, if you're going like this all the time, like it's just not efficient. You know? mm. it, it's just too much motion again, like extra motion, and just trying to minimize all of that so you can think about the music. Sure. You know. 